Now in the last two videos that I did, we made an AND gate with uh, mechanical switches and transistors. Now we have this integrated circuit here, which has uh, four AND gates. So we're using this one right here. There's another one below it, and then one over here, and another one over there. We need to power the integrated circuit. We'll talk about the integrated circuit more uh, coming up. The main thing is, you can see here that we got one input. We can put the inputs directly to the power supply. They don't let current in or out of them. Just look at the uh, voltage. And uh, we got another one with the trim pot. I can go all the way to the negative supply or the uh, positive supply. So right now both inputs are low. The blue LED is lit up. You can see we got the positive supply there, which means that the other side of the LED is now headed to uh, ground. And uh, we turn the uh, trim pot to the uh, positive supply the blue LED stays off. If I have the uh, trim pot to the negative supply and the other input to the negative supply, I'm just going to use a jumper to move it. Now I move it to the positive. The output is still low. So that's three conditions that we did where they're both low, one of them's high, or the other one is high. But as long as one of them's low, then the output's low. If they're both high, A is high and B is high, then the output is high. So now the red LED is lit up. You can see this resistor that protects it goes to the uh, negative supply right there which means the output is positive it's coming from the positive supply as close to 5 volts as it can get here is the uh, diagram for this video when you look at the uh, data sheet you always want to look at the data sheet for these uh, components these integrated circuits this is the 74 HC08 it's a quad there's four of them as I mentioned before two inputs so A and B some have more inputs and uh, they're AND logic gate integrated circuits right there. So the AND means that uh, both the inputs have to be high for the output to be high. There's the uh, true table right now. I have the power supply off so the LEDs are uh, off. So as long as any of the inputs are low, there you can see that the output is low. Sometimes Y will be used for output. If both inputs are high, in this case uh, that's uh, close to uh, 5 volts. And it doesn't have to be exactly 5 volts. You saw when we got the trim pot above about halfway, then it was a high. If it was a bit below halfway or more, then it was low. In any case, both inputs have to be high right there. So we got the integrated circuit. We have to power it. Positive supply up there. And uh, so that's powering it. Positive supply to do all the work and to provide current at the output. And then the negative supply ground. In this case, since it's a DC supply, there's just... Uh, 5 volts at the positive, 0 volts at the negative. So you can see that down there, the uh, bottom uh, one right there. So we got A on the very top, that's this jumper, uh, B right below it, and that is the uh, trim pot. Y is the output. You can see that on the schematic here. So this is a schematic symbol for an AND gate right there. You can see where I got the A, the B, and the Y. And uh, so straight across, we got the uh, trim pot. Again, these inputs just look at the voltage. They don't let current go in or out. Uh, a tiny bit trickles and whatnot. And there's a little bit of shifting when the voltage changes because it's kind of like a capacitor. But for the most part, there's uh, no current. just looks at the voltage. We can go all the way to the uh, supply rails right there. And then A, I just moved a jumper. Now, at the output, as I said, when the blue LED lights up, you got to make sure it's in the right way. I had a white jumper that came across the cathode, was uh, connected to the jumper. That's the short lead. The anode, the long lead, was connected to a 1000 ohm resistor going to the positive supply right there for a couple reasons. Usually these integrated circuits uh, connect to ground better at the output than the positive supply. So that will help uh, reduce the current because there won't be, because there will be more uh, voltage change than the red one. Also blue LEDs are just naturally brighter. So I find it's good to just uh, give it about four times the resistance. Anyways. And then the red LED, we got the long lead, the anode to the output, short lead, the cathode to the negative supply, ground in this case. Again, a lower value resistor, 220 ohm, because it needs more current to get about as bright as the blue LED right there. So we already looked at how the output works. Both of these inputs have to be high for the output to be high, as close to 5 volts as it can get. If one or the other is uh, low, or both of them low, then the output is going to be low, connected to ground, as good as it can get. As I said before, there are four AND gates on here. You can see one's up there, two is there, three is there, and four is there. Remember when you're uh, working with these, they uh, number their way around uh, like that. Uh, power supply pins though are not always 
uh, top right positive, bottom uh, left negative. Sometimes they can be moved. So again, always consult the data sheet. And uh, also with these integrated circuits, these high speed CMOS ones, the HC versions, you have a range of voltages you can use. But uh, generally speaking, these integrated circuit five volts is uh, what you should shoot for. You gotta look at the data sheet to uh, use different voltages. Now, you don't leave the inputs floating. As you can see here, that uh, with the integrated circuit, no matter what the schematic uh, diagram says, you take the AND gates you are not using, and you take the inputs, and you wanna give them a voltage. Again, you can put them directly to the supply, or use a resistor, whatever you want. But you wanna give it a fixed voltage, otherwise, it's picking up signals. Voltages are hitting it from the air and that's affecting uh, the output and uh, it's uh, consuming power, maybe causing other problems. So if you just tie them directly to a supply, then uh, the output holds steady and the uh, component works better. So I'm just gonna mention that uh, briefly. You can uh, read more about uh, other problems that you may have if you leave them floating. Now. When it comes to the uh, power of this integrated circuit, again, you always gotta check the data sheet for these. Uh, some of these integrated circuits, you can't power much. You're gonna need a transistor or something else to uh, amplify the uh, output. But uh, these ones uh, do uh, pretty good, these uh, AND gates in the 74HC uh, series. So the output of uh, each one of these can go up to uh, plus uh, 25 milliamps when it is uh, the source of current or negative 25 milliamps when it is sinking current. We saw that before. When the red LED was lit up, it was sourcing current. When the blue LED was lit up, it was sinking current. Uh, but there's a total uh, supply current of this at uh, 50 milliamps. So if you're using all four of them, you're going to have to keep them below 25 milliamps so that when you add them all up, they stay uh, below 50 milliamps. So again, always check the data sheet. But uh, this should be a good starting point if you're going to use uh, integrated circuits like this. Um, definitely if you're using a different uh, part number, it will have different voltages and stuff you can work with. You definitely got to uh, check the data sheet, but uh, probably aim for 5 volts. Uh, you probably won't find any of these for 9 volts or whatnot. So in any case, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I post on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.